Okay, Carson, so here's your before and after from face on, right? So kind of change your setup a little bit, tinkered around with your grip a little bit, made sure that you know your right, the palm of your right hand is um, against your left thumb. That's a pressure point, right? Right there. Um, we've got the ball position a bit further back. That's why we've got the stick there as well. Not only for, not only to keep your head over the stick, um, but also to help you with your ball position. If we're going to hit a push and a push draw, we want the ball a bit further back than where you had it before. Your ball for a seven. What what were you hitting? Seven iron. Six iron. Six iron. Um, the ball's a little bit too far forward there, especially if we're coming across it. We want the ball a bit further back, right? Which we, which is what we've got there. Um, so better grip, better ball position, and then what we're doing, this is your old one, you know, you look at the sways, right, heads moving over your back foot, hips are moving over your back foot, that's why there's so much pressure build up in that back foot, right, and you kind of stay on that back foot for a bit too long, right, if anything now as we get to the top of the swing, right you want to be starting to push down more on your lead foot your left foot and you've only got six percent of the pressure on your left foot because you've swayed so much over your back foot right so that explains the pressure mapping um, so that's kind of where you were at the top and then you swayed away from the target on the way back now you start to sway towards the target as the club start as your arms come back on your body because you lifted them up and you swing across the ball right you can see as we come down to impact the handles too far back and the shafts leaning straight up or if back a little bit so the first thing we did was keep your head in the box and keep your hips in the box so that's much better ball between your arms for structure a few T pegs underneath each armpit for structure right and then what we're doing is we're coming down that's the position where as you look at the club now they're coming down through those sticks right giving you the the sensation of attacking the ball from the inside now from there come down to impact shaft leaning forward there you go and then from there then you can go through beautiful okay. right so the big things you got to take from today are the head and the hips more centered the arm structure right the hands being behind the shoulder at the top of the swing and getting this idea of coming down attacking the ball from the inside and hitting the ball from the inside hitting a push in a push draw rather than swinging across it and hitting a pull and a pull fade okay. yeah very good mate